according to figures compiled by a London-based independent organization, the U.S. has carried out more than 363 assassination drone attacks in Pakistan's tribal areas since 2004, killing close to 3,500 people. The Bureau of Investigative Journalism says that 311 drone attacks were carried out under the administration of President Barack Obama. The U.S. claims that drone attacks are against the so-called high-value targets associated with Al-Qaeda and the pro-Taliban militants. But the Pakistani tribesmen contest their claims. This man from the country's tribal region is one of many victims of U.S. policy of unilateral attacks. The U.S. is lying that drone attacks only kill militants. Three of my family members, including my son and two nephews, were disabled when drone strike hit our house. They had nothing to do with militancy, yet they were targeted by the U.S. Recently, Islamabad requested the United Nations Human Rights Council to examine the legality of drone attacks. Pakistan, as you, you uh, rightly pointed out, that along with the other like-minded countries, um, uh, um, had called for examining, uh, among other things, the extrajudicial and uh, 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 targeted killings, including uh, through, uh, of course, new uh, uh, drone strikes, uh, particularly when they result in the deaths of civilians and non-combatants. Pakistan publicly condemns drone attacks and considers them as violation of its territorial integrity and sovereignty. Anti-American sentiments are running at an all-time high in Pakistan because of the U.S. assassination drone attacks in the tribal areas. At a recent event in Islamabad, the U.S. ambassador failed to justify the CIA-led campaign when he was confronted by people on the use of drones. Kamran Yusuf, Press TV, Islamabad.